Did you hear the crunch in it? Hello, <laughs> friends and family. Welcome back again to Sea's Kitchen. I trust you're all doing well, and as you can see, I'm doing very well. We thank God for the beautiful day today. <laughs> if today is your first time of stopping by, I want to say a massive thank you to you and to my loyal subscribers. Family, huh? as I always say, your support and love is highly appreciated from day one up to this stage. Thanks ever so much. On our menu today is a simple yam recipe for lunch. This is just a quick one and as you know, it's so simple. Let's get cracking on with our ingredients. The star of the show today is yam. And as you can see, it's just beautiful. This is called Gabriko yam. You can go for any choice of yam, but with me, Gabriko yam is very nice and beautiful. It's similar to Kuna yam. <laughs> And I've got some assorted condiments here, which will liven up our fried yam, and this will twist the taste around to give it a beautiful, distinctive flavor. Our condiments are paprika powder, which will give it a smoky bite and flavor. We've also got powdered ginger, garlic, turmeric, black pepper, and salt to taste. So this stage, we will wash our hands and start peeling the yam. Caution! If you are not comfortable to use the knife, you can use a potato peeler. I'll cut my yam into shapes of sticks and you can cut them into your preferred sizes. It's entirely up to you. I will give my yam a clean wash and drain it before frying. If you want your fried yam to be crunchy, it's advisable to use cold water to soak your yam. And as you can see, I'm using some ice cubes to soak my yam to bring the temperature as low as possible. You can also chill your yam and that one too works perfectly fine. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> our yam with all these condiments we need to mix the condiments together to get an even combination my reason of adding all these condiments apart from the flavor it adds to the yam it also got lots of health benefits the garlic for instance has got antiviral and antibacterial properties that can fight sickness including common cold and flu <laughs> i've also got some turmeric here which has got an active compound, which is curcumin, which has even got scientific proven to have a lot of health benefits to prevent heart disease and Alzheimer's. And you know, Alzheimer's has got symptoms of a continuous decline in thinking, behavioral and social skills that disrupts a person's ability to function independently. So if you are aware of dementia in later stages in life, it's advisable to make turmeric your face cream. Okay, we go on with ginger. And the ginger too has got lots of health benefits, including treating nausea, regulating blood sugar levels, and relieving indigestion. Okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead and add my paprika powder, as it gives a very smoky taste and it's just beautiful. And my black pepper. I will give my mixture a stir so it's well combined. As you can see, our mixture is well combined. And if you notice, I didn't add salt at the early stage. The reason being is when you are making a marinade, it's advisable to add the salt at the last minute, else the salt will diminish the flavors. So this is the time that I'm going to go ahead and add my salt to taste so it can bring out the flavors. I 
At this stage, I will leave the yam in the marinade whilst I go ahead and warm up the oil. To give a yam a touch of fragrance, I will go ahead and put a piece of scallion into it. And the oil has already been used to fry turkey. <laughs> That's why you see it that way. I started with a high heat so the yam doesn't soak up in the oil. After four to five minutes in the oil, I will turn down the heat between low to medium. So the inner and outer layer can thoroughly fry and the outer layer too can be crunchy. I will continuously stir my yam gently to ensure evenly fried to get the crunchiness on the outer layer and at the same time the inner layer will be fluffy. As you can see my yam is fried up to perfection. I will proceed by transferring my yam onto this kitchen towel to soak up the excess oil. Then we get going to the garnishing and presentation stage. Family, this is how our fried yam turned out to be. Very aromatic and the taste of it is uncomparable. I hope you give this a try and share how yours turned out to be. And you can pair it with so many things. As you can see, we've got our three spicy dips here. And right here with me is our trophy. One coated with a spiced chia powder. And the other one garnished with some crushed pepper. They all taste beautiful and pair really well with our fried yam. We've also got shetto with black chili sauce and the three spicy dips. You can have all these recipes in my video. And as usual, I will post the link in the description box. Thank you ever so much for sitting through with me till this time. Your place is highly appreciated. And if you find this video useful, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. So we meet again in my next video. God bless you all. Stay safe, be happy, and bye for now.